Welcome back. A long-standing land dispute between two communities in a number of states has left one person dead, many seriously wounded and property destroyed. The state government has waded in by setting a panel of inquiry to look into the matter. Our community report tonight looks into the issue and the way forward for the warring factions. The writing on the wall might suggest all is well in Upodu Nukofia, but the reality is that there's a lot more happening here that suggests otherwise. So what's the story? For months now, this community has been embroiled in a fierce battle for land with Abagana, another community located in the same local government. The result of this? Attacks on police stations that landed men of the force in hospital and property destroyed, and the killing of a security guard. 23 suspects were arrested over the incident, with fingers pointing to this man as the mastermind. The state governor, Willie Obiano, set up a 10-man administrative panel of inquiry to look into the age-long dispute with a view to finding a lasting solution. If we fail to end it now, we are just passing the ball to the coming generation. So no matter how professional anybody might feel he is, I plead with you that they realize that this matter of life and death. But it appears that the panel is having a hard time reaching a conclusion. We know it. Oral history has it. The court has affirmed it. So what else? And there is not pending anywhere in any court. So we're it is an axiom that the land belongs to. Unquestionably, it's a bag in the land. It's not an issue. But we want the, the, the panel to take a decision on it. So that is the story in a nutshell. As the authorities work tirelessly to bring this matter to an end, those who have suffered losses are left with their pain. A young wife who has lost her husband, a mother who has lost her son, a family in grief. And there are those treating their wounds from clashes in various hospitals, some still traumatized at the near loss of their lives. At the end, after the matter is eventually resolved by the state government, the question that will remain is, was it worth it? Etisola, now you're talking. And staying in a number of states, Governor Willy Obiano has announced 10 million Naira Choose Your Project initiative for the 61 major markets in a number of states. The governor told the meeting of leaders and representatives of market traders that the project will be carried out in all 181 communities across the state. The stimulus package is in line with Mr. Obiano's resolve to fashion strategies that will help cushion the effects of the present economic recession. This hall is filled with over 500 leaders and representatives of the 61 major markets in Anambra State under the auspices of Anambra State Market Amalgamated Traders Association, ASMATA. <laughs> Governor Willy Obiano's arrival feels the excitement as expectations mount on the reason for the meeting. Governor Obiano did not disappoint with the announcement of a stimulus package for low-income earners plus waivers in taxes and school fees. There is more. Another stimulus package in the area of community development is ongoing with the 20 million Naira Choose Your Project initiative. The government is spending huge sums on these projects, but Governor Obiano gives an assurance that palliative measures on roads and inside markets will not stop. A gesture commended by the traders' union. 
The projects are expected to start as soon as the State House of Assembly passes the 2017 budget. You're watching the News at 10 on Channels Television. Time now for business news with Melinda Akinlami. You first. First Bank. Welcome to Business News. Fitch Ratings has reaffirmed the national status of the Bank of Industry, describing it as stable. And this is coming after the agency downgraded the support ratings of other lenders in the country. The acting managing director of BOI, Mr. Waid Olagunju, has attributed the B plus ratings to the bank's loan performance. We doubled our efforts um, in ensuring that we have a very, 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 very healthy um, risk assets. Uh, we've approved loans to more potentially viable enterprises, and we've been able to collect as that when due, right, such that our NPL non-performing loan ratios has been improving. The average for 2015 was about 5.8 percent. As at January, as at June this year, it was 3.87 percent. And as the end of September, we reduced it further to 3.84 uh, percent. About 110 branches of Union Bank PLC are currently getting a facelift as part of the bank's transformation program to provide a comfortable environment for its customers. The Executive Director of Commercial Banking, Mr. Adekunle Shonola, said this at the formal unveiling of the bank's new branch. Customers and guests arriving at the Ola Odeku's branch of the Union Bank PLC for the formal unveiling of the center. Established in 1917 and listed in the Nigerian Stock Exchange in 1971, Union Bank undergoes transformation to position her as a leading provider of quality financial service. In changing with the times, in trying to understand the needs of our customers, in trying to change our staff, our technology, our services, and upgrade to meet the needs of your customers, of your of the people who make it worth your while to be in business. That's why Union Bank has changed for the better, and we are very grateful that you have accepted uh, that change. The change is expected to provide customers a very comfortable, vibrant, and conducive environment to operate. So the bank had to base its quality mantra on six pillars. The first is the quality of our banking platform. The banking platform, consists of our core banking application where we have transformed, we've totally, we've trashed what we used to have. We have a brand new core banking application which is the best in Nigeria today. Next is the formal unveiling led by a customer and supported by other top executives of the bank. The banking hall tells it all. A total deviation from the traditional and conservative looks, and one of the customers shares this experience. A couple of months ago, I walked into this branch, and I was amazed at what I saw. These days, it is more of the facility helping the staff to achieve success than the staff doing everything on their own to achieve success. So I give kudos to the management of uh, the Union Bank. Similar launch has been carried out at the bank's old Ojo Road branch, Mazamaza, Lagos, with work currently at various stages of completion in 110 other branches nationwide. The midweek rally at the Nigerian Stock Exchange holds eight straight days losing streak. For the details, here's Bolaji Akinwali. The equities market reversed the previous negative trend today to close on a positive note as the all-share index recovers by 0.22% 
to close at 25,517 points. The market's capitalization ticked up a bit to finish at 8.8 .8 trillion Nara. Investors exchanged 165 million shares valued at 1.12 billion Nara in 2,484 deals. Today's top gainers in percentage terms were led by Sterling Bank, which added 4 Kobo to close at 74 Kobo. Awando and Flour Mill followed in the second and third place each. On the price decliners table, Forte Oil again topped the table, this time losing 4 Naira, 64 Kobo to end at 70 Naira. Other top losers include Gilos Berger and Africa Prudentials. Stocks from the banking sector were the top most active, with Diamond Bank in the lead. And that's it on the Stock Market Report. I am Bolaji Akinwali. And for the global market, European stocks closed slightly lower today after investors eyed new record highs on Wall Street and digested a subdued UK budget announcement. Australia shares climbed in a mixed session following record gains in the United States. That's business news. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinlami. You first. First Bank. Next on the news at 10. Ghana's Black Queens falls defending champions Nigeria to a 1 1 draw at the African Women's Championship. That's on sports news. Stay with us.